Hi guys, Steph here. Right, what we got for you today? Yes, we've got a gorgeous pen for you. What we have for you here is a Parker Duo Vac, or some people called it the Striped Dewfold Fountain Pen. This pen, or the range of the Duvac pens, were from around about 1940s. And they went through to the late 1940s. I believe maybe around about 1948. Now, first of all, the size of this pen from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel. It's 135 millimeters capped. Around the diameter of the barrel, it's a lovely 11.5 millimeters in diameter. Now, as I say, it's what they term as a Parker Duo Vac. Now, this one is a slightly later version. Um, the reason being that, well, jumping straight to the blind cap there, the earlier versions had a little tassie to the end, to the end of the the barrel or the blind cap. So this one, I believe, is slightly later. I also believe this one is dated nice and simply around about 1946. Again, we'll show you that in a moment. Let's show you the, the colour of the pen. It's this lovely, gorgeous um, maroon stripe with these greens um, and obviously the black stripes going all the way through, through the pen. Okay, so there you go. I believe they also made them in a green, a blue, and also a black colour. But this specific one, as I say, is the maroon. It's got these sort of flecks or um, splashes of greens and these black stripes running down the length of the pen. Let's show you the barrel in print. If I can just see it over the barrel, which is a little bit difficult. I think there it is. Let's keep it nice and still. And I'm hoping you can see that the barrel sort of imprint reads Parker Dewfold, made in USA. And then hopefully you can see to the end it has a number, number six, which nice and simply we can date the pen to 1946. I'm just giving you a little bit of a twirl. It's it's difficult to see a little bit over the camera, but I'm hoping that's clear for you. I'm hoping you can see that. But all in all, as I say, we're dating the pen uh, from 1946, as it says on the barrel, made in USA. Again, they made them in lots of different variations. Um, I believe they made them in a debutante model, a major, and this one I believe to be the senior model. Now, if we take you to the cap there, you can see it's got this quite a thick cap band and it's got this sort of traditional sort of chevron patterns to the cap band. And let's show you the, the clip on this pen, slightly different from what we normally see. You can see it's got a rather tapered Parker clip to the sort of centre of the clip there. You can see it actually says Parker and you'll see to the very top there we have what we term as the blue diamond and once again the blue diamond was only on some specific specific models i, th I think the later models they didn't have the the blue diamond and then if we take you to the very top there you can see it's got this sort of slightly domed cap stud to the very top of the cap there but all in all an absolutely gorgeous gorgeous pen this is one of uh, a number of pens that came to me for restoration servicing which will be going back very soon now we mentioned a little bit earlier this one being it's got the sort of the blind cap and it's a vacuumatic pen so what that means is we simply unscrew the blind cap like so there okay you can see You've got the blind cap to our right there and to the left we've got the pen with this sort of, well, yeah, a button. Not so much a button, it's the plastic sort of filler. Again, the earlier models, 
they had the aluminium speed line filler so again this one we can sort of tell just simply by this plastic filler that it is a slightly later version so let's pop that back on like so I'm not going to fill the pen because as I say this is going back to a client it's all been done all been cleaned etc so I don't want to get involved with filling the pen and then flushing it out so let's undo the the cap for you let's give you this sort of customary twirls show you the pen in different angles an absolutely gorgeous pen I'm a little bit jealous that it has to actually go back because um, it is a beautiful example you can see the section there it's a slightly short section it's got this slight ridge towards the nib there and then if we keep it nice and still let's show you the the nib the nib reads 14 carat Parker Vacumatic registered to trademark and then it has made in Canada to the very bottom let's try and give you a different view you will also see it's what we term as a two-tone nib with the sort of arrow running to the center of the nib there okay there's a sideways view for you and let's show you the feed underneath it's got the standard um, Parker comb feed as always you can see everything has been cleaned so that's lovely and clean as well as I say I don't want to fill the pen it's a lovely pen to hold nice and comfortable with this even with this small section but what we'll do because I know you people like to see the pens writing in this in this case I'm just going to simply dip the pen just so that we can do a writing sample so what we have is a Parker Duovat or some people will call it the the striped the striped do fold nice and simply as we said earlier we're dating this pen it's a slightly later version and we're dating it to 1946 um, as we said slight sort of difference the the barrel says it's made in USA the nib has got can uh, can it's got a Canadian nib which isn't you know it isn't unusual on these pens because some of the nibs were interchangeable obviously but writing very nicely with I would say a fine line does it have any variation I would say yes very slightly so we'll leave it at that what I'll do I'll clean the nib because as I say this one is going back to the customer so I'm sure he's going to be more than happy with it but there you go there's a writing sample with a little bit of pressure on the downward stroke we're getting a little bit of variation but a lovely lovely writer so let's pop that to one side so there we have it another gorgeous pen right, I don't know where. right okay well there we go inky fingers for some reason right so there we go let's wipe that off obviously don't grip uh, don't grip the ink bottle without putting the cap on because that's what's happened <laughs> so there we have it the Parker Duvact or the Stripe Duval from 1946 made in USA absolutely gorgeous example so I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you people leave a comment below don't be shy and if you possibly can please support my work down below but for now and this lovely pen i'll just say bye bye for now <laughs>